Where do hackers get these hacking tools that can encrypt and hold our data for ransom? Well, I'm going to show you how they do that. So I'm in a Windows 11 computer and I'm in the Edge web browser and I'm just going to type in the Tor download. Tor download. Tor is the program that uh, installs on your computer that hides both you from being detected on the internet as well as wherever the websites are. And it does that by routing through a whole bunch of different locations to try to obfuscate where you're actually coming from. So I'm going to click on Download Tor Browser, and then you choose your operating system. And the, what the browser is, is it's just uh, Firefox. and But it's a special kind of Firefox that will uh, run what's called these .onion websites. So we're used to websites running on .com, .net, .edu. But uh, what this particular version of Firefox does is it runs it on uh, a special kind of website, which is going to be a .onion. And uh, so we're going to take a look and see how that works. All right, so I'm installing the Tor program. And I'm doing this on an isolated Windows 11 computer. Uh, so I don't have to worry about if for some reason it gets infected with anything because I can just format it and start over again. Firefox has an interesting history. It started out as Netscape Navigator. Uh, we're all familiar with that back from the early 1990s. And they used to charge for this product. Uh, and then Internet Explorer came out for, for free as part of the operating system. And then Netscape kind of fell apart. And what was left of that turned into this open project called Firefox. And now this uh, Tor program, it runs on top of that. So here we see Tor is starting up on the special version of Firefox. And it's going to connect through these various different locations. So it's going to hide where I'm actually coming from. And now I am connected. Now, what it does is it puts this DuckDuckGo search engine as part of this running on Firefox. But that doesn't get me to the dark web. The dark web is where I'm going to find all these hacking tools. So what I need is a dark web search engine. So I'll just type in dark web search engine. And I'll bet I'll get a whole bunch of different options here in order to click on those and see what I can find. And I'll just randomly click any one of these and see what I get. And I just click on any one of these search engines and it'll take me to this new site and I can type in uh, the type of hacking tool that I want or just general hacking tool download. And I clicked on the onion land search. And what that does is it gives me this new site. And take a look. I don't even have to type in what I want to you know, put in here for downloading hacking tools or anything like that. You see ads for it right here. So I'll just click on any one of them that I'd like. Oh, here's hacking programs. Let's just go ahead and click on that one. And I'm going to choose to load anonymously. Adds a little extra security. And one of the reasons why it's so slow is because it is routing through all these different places. So it doesn't even really know my own IP address. If I, for you know, instance, I put in Google.com, said, what's my IP address? It would not show the IP address I'm actually on. It would show at whatever location I was routing through. So I'm going to click on the link because a lot of these onions, uh, and one of the reasons why they're called onions is because it redirects you places. It redirects, redirects, redirects. So that way the company cannot be found by authorities and then shut down. So this website has opened up and it's loading the icons. And it gives me all these different options along with prices. So for instance, if I'd like to buy email hacking tools, you can see it's going to cost $200. If I'd like to buy phone hacking tools, it's going to be $300 to $350. I can track people for $350. So all these different ways that I can go ahead and purchase things. And then I can try to hack into various different people's different devices. And then it even teaches you how to be become a hacker. So you got beginner, intermediate, and expert hacking courses. And you can see these are not cheap. And <laughs> you, can, you can see that uh, how, how long the uh, courses last. I decided to open up another uh, Onion site that had other hacking tools, just because the first one was more designed for social networking. So I'll just click on this particular malware tool here. And I can go ahead and decide what it is that I'd like here. And I can download it. 
You can do things like Android malware, phishing collection, make money on the dark web, all different types of things that are here. And a lot of times the people themselves aren't able to make changes to this software because they don't have the skills. So they buy the software from these guys. And if there's an anti-malware signature that comes out, then they just go ahead and tweak the software just a little bit and it, it acts like a whole new piece of malware. So uh, you can also go in and change the encryption keys as well. So if the keys for some reason uh, got posted online to uh, help you to decrypt your data without having to pay for it. All they got to do is change the keys. It's, it's a pretty simple thing. So if you're wondering what the dark web is and how these uh, people get uh, these hacking tools without a lot of experience, here you go. This is how you do it. You download Tor, you go to an Onion site, and then you go ahead and pick out what you want. Make sure you have a Bitcoin wallet, pay for it, and you're off to the races. And uh, hopefully afterwards, they're off to jail. So uh, that is how they do it. And keep yourself safe by keeping up to date on all the latest security software news.